Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos that give a gentle introduction to vectors. Now in recent videos, I've been discussing the relationship between vectors and lines. And in this presentation, I'm going to do an example involving um, uh, vectors and lines. So let me share my screen with you and uh, we'll get underway. All right, so here's the example I'm going to discuss. Consider the points A, B, and C, all lying in three-dimensional space. We're asked to do a couple of things. We're asked to compute the vector from the point A to the point B. And then we're asked to show that the points A, B, and C cannot lie on the same straight line. In other words, a, B, and C are not collinear. Okay, so let's start off with computing the vector from A to B. Now, by the triangle rule for addition, the vector from one point to another point just involves taking away the position vectors of the points. Okay, so by this lowercase b and lowercase a, I mean the vector OB and the vector OA. All right, so let's write these uh, as um, column vectors and we can just perform the operation um, in a component-wise fashion. So let me show you what I mean. All right, so you just work in first component with the first component, second component with the second component, etc. So negative 3 minus 4, negative 7... Negative 6 minus 3, negative 9, 10 minus negative 2 is 12. So that's the vector AB. Now the second part of this question asks you to show that the points A, B and C cannot lie on the same straight line. Okay. Now all we need to do in order to show this is that show that the vector AB is not parallel to the vector Um, BC or AC. Okay, so the important thing is that the two vectors involved share a common point. So I've already computed the vector AB. If I compute the vector BC, then the common point is B. If I compute the vector AC, the common point would be A. All right, so let's comp I'm going to compute the vector BC and then show that uh, AB and BC are not parallel. Okay. So the vector BC is just the position vector of C minus the position vector of B. So uh, the position vector of B is just the uh, sorry the position vector of C is up here. Minus the position vector of B. So let's work in a component-wise fashion again. So 25 minus negative 3, 28. 30 minus negative 6, 36. Negative 39 minus 10, negative 49. So now the question is, is this vector parallel to this vector? All right. Now remember what we want to do is show that these points cannot lie on the same line. So we show that AB is not parallel to BC and so AB and C cannot be collinear. All right, so how do we show that this vector is not parallel to this vector? Well, let's compare the two. We know that two vectors are parallel if one's a scalar multiple of the other. In other words, there is some number such that this vector times that number equals this vector, or vice versa. Okay, so let's just compare what we've got here. We've got negative 7 and 28. Well, if I times negative 7 by negative 4, I get 28. If I times negative 9 by negative 4, that same number, I'll get 36. 
but if I times 12 by that same number, negative 4, I don't get negative 49. Okay, so this is definitely not a scalar multiple of this because, it, because the same number doesn't work for all of the three entries. Okay. So we see that there is no number, lambda, such that, uh, let's say um, AB, lambda AB equals AC. And you can have the lambda over here if you wanted to. Thus, AB is not, uh, sorry, that should be a BC. Not an AC. That's a BC. Thus, AB is not parallel to BC, and hence A, B, and C cannot lie on the same straight line. Okay, now I have discussed the, the geometry behind this in a previous video, but if, you know, if you just think of it, um, what, why, why did, if two vectors, say A, B and A, C are parallel, why does that, and they have a joint, joint point, A, why does that mean that A, B and C are on the same line? Well, if you go from, uh, the, look at the vector from A to B, and you just stretch that vector a bit, or compress it to get to the point C, then three points have got to be on the same line. Okay? All right, so that's another basic example. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, any comments, any feedback, I'd love to hear them. And um, please join me for my next presentation involving vectors. And the next presentations are going to involve equations of planes. So we've already talked about how to uh, parameterize and describe lines using vectors. Um, now let's go up one dimension and talk about planes. So please join me for that presentation.